Hey guys, it's Crystal Tantric Yogi here, and this video is a part of a new series that I am starting called Tantra Yoga with Crystal Tantric Yogi. And in this series, I will be sharing full-on instructional Tantra Yoga videos so that you can practice with me. So if you are interested in Tantra Yoga, learning more about Tantra and the actual postural practice, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share this video so other people can learn. So for the first video of this series, I thought it would be fun to do moon salutations. Some of you may have heard of sun salutations that help honor the sun, the solar energy, that brings life to us all. But because we have a full moon in Virgo today, Tuesday, March 7, 2023, I thought it would be fun to introduce moon salutations to you. But before we get into the actual practice, I wanted to talk a little bit about today's moon because it's really important to understand the divine energies, the cosmic energies, that we live with and that govern our life because they have a huge effect on our mood and the decisions that we make and things that might be irritating us or coming up in our subconscious mind. So with this Virgo moon, it's really important to think about day, the balance between daydreaming and being analytical and practical. A lot of times we like to daydream and have these really lofty and big goals for ourselves and what's a big goal to us just depends on how we grew up that it might mean having the car of your dreams and having enough money to get it or it might mean starting a business and not having to work for somebody or it might be as big as wanting to become like a superstar athlete or um an actress or singer whichever the daydream or the, your big lofty goal is, it's important that we balance those dreams out with practical thinking. What are some small goals that you can do to actually make those dreams come true? We need both. We need to have faith in our imagination, but we also have to break those steps down to getting there to very everyday practical um, doings so that we can actually achieve our goals over time. To so let's floor, begin our yoga practice. Cool Come to a comfortable seat on your mat, floor, and for or yoga ground. Has Just make sure that your down. spine so is you nice and tall. Your eyes are closed. And bring your attention to your breath. I actually okay. like to do a half lotus. It helps me lengthen my spine and open my heart and hips. You can place your hands on top of your knees, palms up, and bring your attention inward by using your breath. Maybe inhale a slow count of four through your nostrils and then exhale a slow count of four outside. On your last breath here, let's start to do our head circles. So start to rotate your head in a circle, maybe going towards the right first. Inhaling as you take the head up, exhaling as you take it down. Always focusing on your breath. Once you've done a few rotations towards the right, maybe go towards the left a few times, rotating nice and slowly and sensually. I always love to start a yoga practice with relaxing my neck and shoulders. Maybe go back and forth towards each side and then slowly inhale the head up. Open your eyes. And now let's start to roll the shoulders back. So we've loosened the neck. Now let's start to relax the shoulders. We hold so much tension in our shoulders and chest and back. So let's show them some love. Maybe you can start to rub your knees and add a little sensuality here. Take the shoulders forward now. Nice deep belly breaths. Great. Now let's Extend the legs, point and flex the toes, relax the ankles, and maybe open, close the hips. Yeah. Now take your feet about hip distance width apart and start to rock the knees 
back and forth to the right and left, letting the knees fall down to the ground. Make sure your posture is tall. And just very slowly, we're going to warm up the hips with zigzag legs. Yeah, inhale as you take them up and exhale as you take them down. So yummy. All right, so let's start to warm up the spine a little bit more with cats and cows. So come onto your hands and knees. As you inhale, press the belly out towards the floor. And as you exhale, shift your spine up towards the ceiling. So really arch up high and take the booty out. Perfect. Breathing deeply, synchronizing your breath with each movement. Exhaling as you send your hips forward. Inhaling as you send your booty back. So yummy, cats and cows. And now let's add a little tantric movement by rotating the hips towards the left. You can do this as softly and centrally as you like. Just make sure that you rotate towards the right and the left. So now we're reversing directions. Don't worry about what you look like. Just worry about how you feel. Now take the knees apart, feet together. Sit your seat back by your heels for child's pose. A couple deep breaths here. Mm. Now we'll lift up halfway and walk our hands over towards the right to get a deep stretch on the left side. Maybe you feel that in your hip as well. If you can, sit your hips all the way back by your heels. Maybe put a blanket underneath your hamstrings. Now lift up and walk the hands over to the left so we can stretch the right side. Deep breaths. Mm. Now we'll lift up halfway, bring the arms back towards the center. Relax here for a moment, breath or two. And then we'll come back onto our hands and knees. Flat back and curl the toes under just like so. And we'll come into our first downward facing down, pressing down and forward into the hands and reaching the heels towards the ground or floor. Gaze is in between the ankles. So let's pedal the feet back and forth, stretching those hamstrings. Body is in a V shape. Don't worry if your heels don't reach all the way to the floor. The important thing is the movement. So let's come down to a modified plank, lower the elbows and slide the chin and chest up for a cobra. Beautiful. Let's come back onto hands and knees and find our way back to standing to do the moon salutation. So we'll start in Tadasana or mountain pose. It's just a standing pose. We'll step the feet out a little wider than hip distance width. Take a breath, then bring the feet back together. We'll inhale, lift the arms up, and then as you exhale, go ahead and start to tilt over towards the right. A couple of deep breaths here. Inhale, slowly bring the body back to center. And then we'll step out with our left and right foot. Extend our arms. And then you exhale, squat into your goddess pose. Inhale, come all the way up. Keep the arms extended. Turn your right foot forward. Shift your weight at your waist. Reach with your right hand and tilt for triangle pose. So both arms are extended. The right foot is pointed forward. Now reach over with your left hand all the way around back to your front foot and turn your back foot forward 45 degrees for pyramid. Inhale, exhale, a couple breaths here. And then you'll step your foot, back foot, a little bit more so that you can come into a low lunge. So bring the right knee down, left knee down, inhale. Bring both arms up. Bring the hands down to the heart. And then you open your front foot and you come to your high lunge. 
and pivot so that you're in a side lunge then come to a middle squat goddess again and then exhale side lunge on the left side now we will pivot the back foot come into low lunge on the left side so this time left foot forward right leg back inhale both arms up T belly breath here hands will come down to either side of the foot curl the back toes under and then step your back foot forward for pyramid on the left side now we'll step the back foot back just an inch or two open up towards the front of the room for triangle inhale come back up face both toes out squat into the goddess bend the elbows cactus arms press back up step the feet together for tadasana inhale arms up and then we'll tilt over to the left inhale come up take the feet apart hands come down and then step back together and that's your moon sun salutation let's do a cool down inhale bring the arms up exhale fold forward inhale come up halfway hold for breath and then exhale come down and then we'll come all the way down to the floor downward facing dog first so hands come down press down and back and then come down to the knees now that we're seated on the floor let's scoot up towards the front of the mat extend our arms and start to roll one vertebrae at a time nice and slow arms overhead and then exhale come up nice and slow again exhale roll very slowly one vertebrae at a time arms overhead exhale come back up one more time and then we'll roll back down really warming up those abs a little bit rolling back up now we stand here we'll lift the left leg and hold lift the right leg and hold and now maybe you can pull the right leg in pull the left leg up and in and now maybe lift both legs for both pose hold 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 good both feet come down and slowly roll on to your back feel really good to lay down on your back now let's lift the right and left left legs and hug the knees in towards the center of the body rocking back and forth now both knees to fall over to the left look over your right shoulder winding down knees come to center again pull them in gentle squeeze exhale them now over to the right look over the left shoulder I always love a good cool down. Pull the knees back in. Inhale, as you exhale, allow the knees to fall back over to the left. And let's hold here for a couple of breaths. If you have tight lower back, this is a great stretch to do every night before you go to bed. Inhale, the knees back in. And then legs will fall over to the right one last time let's hold breathe deeply you want to start to really unwind the body at this point good knees come back to center one more really tight squeeze and then we'll extend our left and right legs nice and slow turn the toes out allow the feet to be about hip distance width apart make sure your shoulders are underneath you and your chin is coming down towards your chest and now let's relax this part of the yoga practice is called corpse pose or shavasana and this is where we allow our nervous system to reset 
you do a conscious relaxation. The idea is not to sleep, but to do a conscious rest. So just send a message from your mind to the rest of your body to relax. Allow your breath to be light and your body just to sink and melt and become one with the earth underneath you. You can imagine your body melting and your energetic body rising, maybe floating up towards the moon tonight. Maybe picturing yourself hovering above an ocean straight to the moonlight. Now it's time to awaken. So we like to move gently, starting with fingers and toes, just like slowly start to awaken the body. Gentle movements. Maybe take a deep breath, inhaling through your nose and exhaling out your nose. Now let's go one step further, bring the feet together and extend your arms up over your head. Take a nice, long, active body stretch. Big inhale, exhale the mouth. Mm, so good. Now start to slowly roll over onto your side. It's like you're waking up from a nap. You can bend the knees in towards your chest if you like. And keep mine slightly extended with a slight bend. And then slowly press yourself all the way back up, being very gentle with the body. If you like, you can keep your eyes closed just to keep a sense of this peaceful energy that you've cultivated around you. Really savor in the moment, come to an easy cross leg position or half lotus bring your hands towards your heart and bow your head take a couple of deep breaths here to honor your practice today and namaste it's the end of our practice so i hope you guys enjoyed the class i enjoyed teaching you and if you want to learn more about Tantra, please go to crystaltantrikyogi.com. If you'd like to learn more ways you can work with me, you can find my sign up for my newsletter so you'll stay up to date on all of my courses, classes, any promotions that I have going on. And if you're looking for something a little bit fun and frisky if you want to see the sassier side of me i have an only fans where i do a little teaching but kind of just let you more into my intimate world but i will start doing intimate videos self-pleasure videos so that you can see how i intentionally add the techniques that i practice in tantra and yoga in my self-pleasure practice so you can find my OnlyFans link on my website. If you want the link to my website, it'll be down in the subscription box. But if you really enjoyed these videos, again, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy full moon. Bye.